Game Double Tap, everybody. Welcome to the new series that I started, I think a couple weeks ago before I got really busy, discussing cards and card decks and stuff like that. Today, we're going to be having an STG over discard decks for Conjury. It's not going to take too long. I just want to explain to you some of the basics, some of the components, and then in separate videos, I'll be going into the individual cards. The individual card videos will be quite short. They're not quite short enough to be a short, but they'll be short videos, probably about five minutes. So let's get into what a discard deck is. New game. Settings. New game. Continue. Map screen. Location boss. Floor one. Disable. Starting with Platinum Key level, let's talk about some of the cards that I have in my current Ludolf deck, which is kind of on the very last boss battle. That's where you fight two bosses and you fight one big gigantic boss. I'm going to let you hear it so you know it's true. Oh, also, give me one second. Jury, active. Location boss, Con disabled. All right. Button. Let's Double take a look select. at the map and then we'll take a look at the cards. Location shop, floor one, disabled. Location altar, floor one. Location dual underscore bosses, floor one. So that's when you fight Button. two bosses. Double tap, location altar, floor one. Disabled. Then you get to go to the altar Button. if you beat those two bosses. Double tap, location shop, floor one, disabled. And then you go, Button. I think, uh, location shop. You go to the one. shop. Disabled. Location boss, floor one. And then the disabled. final boss is what Button. you fight. Now, Double this tap, only happens when you play the game on platinum key level and beat death, which is the final boss for Ludolf. Don't know about other particular characters. It's been a while, but again, this is where we're going to take a look at a very successful discard deck I have. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the strategies you use in a discard deck. Auctions bar, coins, gems, auctions, key, platinum, close, music, volume, sound effects, view inventory, view deck, close. Uh, Ludolf deck Double has tap to select. four jabs and four parries. Unless you remove those, those come standard with any time you play Ludolf. So I'm going to swipe past all those cards and we'll get into some of the more interesting custom optional cards. Cotton. Deal four damage to all enemies. Read. Is discarded. Put it back and it costs four less. Disabled. Okay. Read. Button. R E A D. Double tap to select. R E E D. I'm not totally sure, but. Read is one of the basic and most important cards in a discard deck. It's very inexpensive if you discard it. It becomes zero cost, but it's very expensive if you have to play it out of your hand. So do not play it out of your hand at four mana cost. That's a, that's a huge waste. You can do much more damage with other cards. Uh, but be it as it may, if you do have a situation where you can kill everything on the field with one read card, it might be worth it. But that's not how you play Reed. Uh, Reed is a card that has a four mana cost. It does four damage to every enemy on the field, so to a maximum of three enemies. But if Reed is discarded, it will cost zero. And you can discard Reed as many times as you want. It will come right back to your hand. And that is the beauty of discard cards. They come back to your hand. So Reed is a must have for a discard deck. Let's go to the next card. Crocs, mana cost two, action, deal three damage. Discard your highest cost card. Disable. Crux Button. is an absolute to monster. Select. It's a great card. C-R-U-X, something to that effect. Crux is a card that does just the right amount of damage to a very strong monster that you're beating on. It does three damage. It discards your highest cost card. Now in a discard deck, all of your cards are kind of high mana costs. So Crux will, of course, immediately discard Reed because Reed is a four mana cost card. Another good thing about Crux is if you get something like an Upsurge, you know, sometimes Upsurge jumps into your hand because it's a foil card, which means it foils all your plans. If you do get a really bad card by accident, Crux can remove it for you, especially if it's high mana cost. Crux is a great damage card. It's a little expensive, so we can probably find a better damage card, but Crux is still outstanding because it just removes that high mana cost card. Then that card comes back to your hand if it's a discard card and it's now free. So Crux is a great card. Big shout outs to My Noise for your lovely music and we have a Conjury Witch's Brew. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next card. Pants, mana cost zero, action, deal two damage, discard a card, disabled, button, 
Double tap to select. Pants is a fantastic card. It's zero cost. You're going to want to run three or four of these. It does two damage. It costs no mana, and it can remove a random card, including other Pants cards. Pants is a great card to play by itself because it doesn't have any cost. It's another great card to play if you have a big bunch of discard cards in your hand that are very high mana cost, like Reed or Shake or you can call it shape. It depends on how you hear it. So we're gonna talk about why Pants is such a great card in the individual card combo series I'm gonna be doing. So, but yes, Pants is a must have for your discard deck. Let's move on to the next card. Sentinel, mana cost two, shield block, two, durability, <coughs> two. If you block damage with this, add a card you discarded this turn to your hand. Disable. All right, Button. Sentinel Double is your select. only recognizable discard deck off hand weapon i don't believe it works too terribly well so please do not jumble up on it but occasionally if a knight discards a card from you by force or in some rare instances that you discard a card this particular offhand if it blocks will bring back that discarded card it isn't reliable it isn't consistent so what would I say about this? Just run this if you want to run it. My belief is this isn't the best offhand for a discard deck. So I would say this is not your best card. So it gets the <laughs> half scream. <laughs> it's not the best discard card, but if you do want to run this card, it can be sometimes useful. Trade, mana let's, cost one. Let's Action. move on to discard the next one card. card. Draw Sentinel. Trade. Mana cost one. Action. Discard one card. Draw two cards. Disabled. Button. Double tap to select. So trade is one of the best discard cards. So you discard one card. If there are no cards to discard, it still works. So remember, a lot of these cards don't have costs. They just have penalties. They have things that go into effect when you use them. So trade doesn't need to discard a card to give you the effect of drawing two cards. All you need to do is realize that when you do play it, if there is another card in your hand, no matter what that card is, it will discard it. Okay, so trade is a great card. It's a deck caller. It's a deck speeder. It's your goblin. It's your, uh, your uh, what does it call it? The goblet of greed or something like that. The old Yu-Gi-Oh card. Trade is a great card, has minimal cost. It's very inexpensive. It's a powerful card. It's a great way to knock those shakes out of your hand. It's a great way to knock those reeds out of your hand, which means you use this card to not only draw, but you use it to turn your high cost discard cards into zero cost discard cards. So this is a must have. I'd run about three or four of these. They're quite effective. Let's go on to the next card. Avert. Mana cost two. Action. Block four damage. If this is discarded, put it back and it costs two less. The, num the number Button. one card. Double tap to Avert. Select. Avert gives you four defense. It's only a two mana cost card by itself. So if you were going to protect yourself, Avert is still a great card to play, even if you don't discard it. But what makes Avert absolutely amazing is when you discard it, it comes back. But when it comes back, it is zero cost. So Avert is awesome for boss fights. Avert is awesome when you have a weapon that discards it. And it's actually awesome even if you don't have any way to discard it. Pants can discard it. Lots of other cards can discard it. So Trade can discard it. Pants can discard it. So yes, this is a great, great card. Let's move on to the next card. Read. Mana cost four. Prick. Mana cost one. Action. Discard a card in your hand and add a crunch to your hand. Disable. Okay, prick. Button. Not the Double guy that's down the street from you. Not that prick. Not your ex-boyfriend. Not your ex-husband. Not the dog that tried to bite you. <laughs> prick is a great card. Prick is a card that doesn't necessarily seem... Well, it does seem like it would fit into a discard deck, but you don't get it right away. Again, this is another suggested card. So once you start creating a discard deck, Prick's gonna start showing up inside of your loot bags. 
Prick is a great card. It's only one mana cost and it discards a card, but it's a random card. So it could literally discard anything. But if you're running a proper discard deck, you want to discard cards. And the great thing about Prick is it gives you a powerful burn card that comes back into your hand at zero cost. So read Prick, mana cost one, action. Discard a card in your hand and add a crunch to your hand. Disabled. Crunch Button. does five. Double tap to select. Crunch is the card that comes back. It is five damage. Five damage is a lot of damage, folks, for a one mana cost card and a discard. Prick is absolutely the best, one of the best cards that come to your hand just by accident. Um, I do not believe the game ever gives you more than one of these. So you get one and that's it. So Prick is excellent. It is excellent. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm changing words. It's an excellent card. Trade. Mana cost one. All right. Crux. Mana cost two. Extract. Mana cost one. Okay. Action. Choose one. Give a weapon plus two attack or plus <clears throat> one durability. Disable. Excuse me. So extract doesn't to sound like a discard card and it isn't a discard card it is normally in a giant weapon deck but what's great about extract is if you're running a weapon that discards card you're going to want to keep one to two extracts in your discard deck this is definitely a good strategy and by the way you don't need a lot of things from extract you just need to pop off that solidify solidify is a cheap version of reinforcement and what i like about um, extract is you can also pump a weapon up with home H-O-M-E or you can take solidify so I prefer solidify it's excellent so um, yes you're gonna want to have at least one extract in your discard deck let's move on to the next card shade mana cost three action deal six damage if this is discarded put it back and it costs three less it's shade Disable. sorry I keep saying shake Button. it's shade double tap to select so I'm just gonna be the forever name now shade is one of the best cards in a discard deck it's probably right behind a vert shade is a six damage burner card that could just blow your enemies away two shades do 12 damage three shades do 18 damage there isn't anything that can stand up to shade shade is fantastic and when discarded it becomes free shade does shade has a three mana cost it does six burn damage when this card is discarded it is returned to your hand so you can discard it all day the knight can forcibly discard it anything can discard it it doesn't matter it comes right back to your hand only when you play it is it used so shade is fantastic it's your all-purpose burner card you're going to want to have about six of these in your deck i know you're like wow six of these yes six shades in your hand is probably going to be what you're going to use as the angry goat says, you need a lot of shades to burn enemies down. And do recall that when you fight harder enemies on higher levels of difficulty, they have much more hit points. So shade is fantastic. It's one of the best discard cards. Let's move on to the next card, if any. Avert. Mana cost two. Three. Mana cost four. Snag. Mana cost one. All right. Action. Draw a card. It costs zero. Disable. Snag Button. is Double tap to select. excellent card. So Snag is a draw. It's a card speeder. It's like trade, except Snag gives you the next card for free. Why is Snag inside a discard deck? Because a discard deck has lots of high mana cost cards. Snag is a fishing card. It basically fishes for high cost cards and makes them free. So you're going to want to run at least three Snags in your deck. So basically... You play Snag, it has a one mana cost. The next card Snag draws is zero cost, except for Boomerang. Boomerang will always cost you one mana. Once Snag draws, say, Shade or Reed, you, that card is now free. And now you can just bombastically blast the enemies on the field. You're going to want to run at least three Snags in your deck. I wouldn't suggest running more than three snags unless you're just running a super speed deck the more snags you run past three you're going to have to remove your jabs so keep in mind you don't want to snag a jab or a parry a parry is not bad a jab is a terrible thing to snag it's worthless so if you're going to run four five six snags you got to get rid of those pair you got to get rid of those jabs okay all right let's go on to the next card if any Avert. Mana cost for pants. Mana cost zero. Shade. Mana cost three. War axe. Mana cost two. Weapon. The attack. Weapon. Five. Durability. Four. War After attacking, discard a card. Disable. Bud. 
Buttons. Let's play our weapon sound. Time to select. Yes, War Axe is the weapon that discards a card after attacking. It's a pretty decent weapon. It has a pretty good amount of attack. It only has two durability, so it's pretty fragile. But what's so good about this weapon is you can spend some time at the altar upgrading it. It's a great thing to spend a stone on in a store. It's a great thing to have the Fiery Spirit event work on it so that it gives it two upgrades. It's an excellent card. Let me tell you the damage. Shade, War Axe, Mana Cost 2, Weapon, Attack, 5, Durability, 4, After Attacking, Discard a Card, Disable. Okay, my Button. War Axe is currently upgraded. It has two, it has one extra attack and two extra durability, simply because I'm playing loot off on the final final boss so you're going to want to get at least one to two war axes for your discard deck they are awesome pants mana cost avert mana cost three mana cost burn mana cost one action all right deal two damage burn enemy disable uh, burn is an Button. optional card Double you do to select. not have to include burn in your discard deck but what i so burn is a good card to include with a discard deck because you're doing burn damage anyway my suggestion if you're going to run a discard deck is to use pure discard cards because pure discard cards always come back such as read such as shade things like that also you're going to want to utilize things like avert because avert gets rid of the highest cost card which is read Read damages all the enemies. Some cards that you can use to combo with your discard deck are the following. Scallion. Scallion is a food card. It basically gives you plus two damage to any burn card. Another good card to use is one of the fruit cards, Grapes. Grapes will reduce the cost of your next drawn card by one. So that's a great way to make some of your cheapy cards like burn be inexpensive will basically make them free so some of the good things about discard decks is that they do a lot of damage right away they keep you ahead of the monster thralls racing towards you and discard decks are quite effective on boss battles because while you're keeping the boss busy by blocking all of its attack with avert you can smash it with shade and you can also use shade to smash those little tiny consorts that the bosses call up Another good thing about discard decks is that War Axe is a pretty good weapon in and by itself. Simply spend some time at the altar upgrading it. More cool things about discard decks is trade. Trade is really inexpensive. It's a great deck draw. Combine trade with snag and you are smashing through your deck at breakneck speed. So that's going to be it for our discard deck STG strategy tutorial guide. I hope you're enjoying Conjury. The developer's name is Dean Coulter. My name is Michael Gray. This is Game Double Tap, the channel that describes absolutely everything. Stay tuned for more tutorials on the best and brightest deck builds you can make in Conjury. Until next time, folks, take care, keep playing, and keep double tapping. And I will hear you next time. Take care.